Yo, what is up guys, DeckerCrafter here, and today I'm showing you how to create a Spigot 1.7.1 Minecraft server, or newer. Uh, this tutorial will always work, it'll be relevant in the future. So, first thing, you want to right-click and create a new folder on your desktop, we're going to call this Spigot Server. You can name it whatever you want though, it really doesn't matter. Once you open up this folder, next thing you want to do is go to this website, I'll have it linked in the description, but it's the latest build tools download for Spigot. It's from their website. It's gonna say if you use Chrome, this file can harm your computer. It's because Chrome doesn't know what it is, um, but it's safe, I promise. And then you wanna take this build tools and you just want to throw that into your server folder that you created. All right, also for whatever reason, the server doesn't work. You're gonna have to go to Java. Like if it doesn't run, first test this out. Make sure you have Java offline 64 bit because that's required, especially to work with the latest version of Minecraft. Now that we have that, we're actually going to go back into this server folder and you're going to create a new text document. We're going to call this run build tools. You're going to open it up and you're going to take this links in the description. You're going to see this. You want to copy the 1.7.1 or the latest. The latest is 1.7.1 right now though. We're going to copy that, paste it in here. And then what you want to do is go to file, save as, this is important, add dot bat and hit save all right now we're going to close this you can even delete the text document one it's not relevant anymore you just need this run dot bat that we just created and then you're going to run it this is going to pop up it's going to take forever to load seriously it's going to take a while leave it it'll close on its own when it's done magic of editing you get this part skipped just finished so that took a few minutes but you can see now in this folder we have a spigot 1.7.1 uh, so we're going to create a new text document. We're going to call this run server. I'm sure you're getting the idea here. And I'm actually going to go into my server folder. I have one that I always use. So I'm just going to copy this. I'll leave this copy in the description. Make sure to copy the pause as well. These two lines. This right here is the starting amount of RAM you're giving your server. One gig. And I put it at three gigs. If you only want your server to use two gigs or you want it to start with more than one, just change the X because that's the maximum it can use. Once you do that, you're going to go to file, save as, run server.bat, same as the last time we did this, and then close that. All right, now that that's saved, we're actually just gonna go change the name of this spigot 1.17. Um, we're gonna change this to server because that's what our run.bat's looking for. It's looking for a file named server. Then you're gonna run that. It's gonna crash and it'll say you need to accept the EULA. If it says anything other than that and you have no EULA file, try that Java download that I showed you guys. Link's also in the description. If that still doesn't work, reach out to me and I'll help you. Preferably by Discord, but you can leave a comment too. When you accept the EULA and change that false to true, you're all good to go. You're just going to run the server again. And then we're gonna open up Minecraft. You can use Direct Connect or Add Server. I would just do Add Server. You're gonna to need to port forward in order for your friends to join. So check the description, I'll have a port forwarding tutorial or here on the screen somewhere, oh, over there. And uh, you can just click on that and it's a quick tutorial on how to port forward so that your friends are able to join your Minecraft server. In order to get your IP or your public IP for your friends to connect, you can just go to canyouseeme.org. You can also run a test to see if your server is actually online on there just by changing the port on that website to 25565 and then clicking the test. So we're gonna go to add server, server address. You can just put a zero or you can type in localhost. You don't use your public IP because you can't connect to your own public IP. It's on your computer. So uh, I prefer just put a zero. And then we can go down. And now we're in our server that we just created. If you want to OP yourself, this is your server window. This is like your console. This is, if you type help into here, it's going to show you all the different commands that you can type. You don't have to put a slash before anything when using the console. You can say hi and in game, look, the server said hi. So this window is in fact your server. If you want to close it, you have to type stop and then hit enter. And that will properly close your server. If you want to OP yourself, you just type OP and then your Minecraft name and you're all set. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I love being able to make them quick and not super spammy with like ads and stuff because I hated that when I was trying to find tutorials as a kid and nobody ever responded. Like nobody would ever help me out whenever I needed help in the comments. I noticed other people can never get help. So I really, really do try to help you guys as best as I can and respond to everyone. So I do really appreciate it when you guys subscribe and like the videos. It helps a lot, actually. It helps more people see it, especially when you watch them all the way through. So 
Again, I appreciate you guys. It's awesome that I can do this and help you out. If you're still watching, comment chicken nuggets.